I don't really think we're we're. I wouldn't say we are like a quintessential like, let's be the champions of New York band, but we're definitely from here and we live here and this is where we make our art and music and everything started here. So, in that way, I think we're as much of a New York band as anyone else. We like we like to think of it as a New York City based art project. That's like that's what we yeah, yeah. when we started this band, that's what it was. New York City based art project that was gonna include artists that live in New York, musicians that live in New York, songs were gonna be like are, we're gonna somehow carry the energy that we were receiving from the city and from the people and the bands around us. Michael's sister, uh, whenever we'd be hanging out with her and she took off, she would always say, Later skaters. So like it popped into Mike's Mike's head one day a couple of years ago. He said he said to me, he's like, I want to start a New York punk band called Skaters. We were just kind of like envisioning ourselves playing like really like small, dirty clubs, playing like really ratty punk rock music, and that that's that's really like all we that was our, our aspirations. Even if you don't have like big, big, big aspirations, once you've done something. Mm. You're not going to just do that Can't same do yeah. thing again. You naturally will go to the next little baby step. And then before you know it, the baby steps are actually kind of big steps. We uh, signed our deal with Warner Brothers about six or seven months after we started the band. And then... Uh, and then last year we toured in the UK pretty much the whole year. Yeah, so we mm -hmm. called our record Manhattan. It was a little bit of we like... We only, only played shows in Manhattan yeah, for yeah. our whole career. We played one show in Brooklyn our whole time. Yeah, yeah also we, we, when we played Brooklyn, no one showed up. So like, it's <laughs> no not like, it's yeah, not no like we chose... Show, so. It's not like we're choosing teams. We're just giving yeah. love to the place that was receptive of us. Yeah. yeah. And one thing that his band's really been good at is just adopting like the strengths of each member and just kind of like... Like, oh, cool, we're going to do that now? Cool, let's all own that. Mm. We're into, like, the synthesis of ideas and, and like, and, 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 and styles of, you know, to, like, create something that's our own, you know, to give, to give to people as ours rather than, oh, they're doing that thing that someone else did, like, in the 60s or that in someone's, New York, you know. Or that like, someone's doing Yeah, that someone's now. doing now that, like, they're riding a train that on, sound, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, that trend. My, uh, did it. <laughs> style in New York is um is different from anywhere else. Where it's like, you're, you, it's like if you wear something different, you're making a statement. Yeah. But in New York, it's just you're just being you, mm. and no one gives a fuck. Yeah. There's also this all third third person thing that happens in New York, where it's like anytime anyone steps out of their door, when someone sees them, they think that what they're wearing is very well thought out. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like if you walk out of your house and like. A pair of jeans with like a rip right here and a clash t shirt. Yeah. They're like, like someone's like, oh, that's a great look. Street style, <laughs> you know, street style, yeah, street style. And let's someone's make, gonna take let's a make the exact picture, same you know? thing. Yeah. Got <laughs> native! Ooh! Back to adopting as, as your own. Lovely to be here, Manhattan. One word.